Welcome back to Blacks in Motion. And like I said in the intro, we're going to talk about NBA All-Star Weekend, which took place in New Orleans. Yeah, it was a little bit of a small market, but hey, it's always a great party town and always looking forward to hosting great events like the NBA All-Star Game and all the festivities that go along with it. So in this year's All-Star Game, this was the 63rd actually, the Eastern Conference came out victorious. They won 163 to 155. And you may be saying, man, that's a lot of points even for an all-star game. And guess what? It was because among many other records that were set that night, they did set the record for most combined points in an all-star game. You also had the most points by one team ever scored, which was the Eastern Conference this year. And you also had some players that put up a lot of points, namely Blake Griffin of the Los Angeles Clippers. He made 19 field goals. Most of those were dunks as well. And also Carmelo Anthony, who put in eight shots from the three-point Point line eight that's right eight a new record now one of the most other impressive records was Kevin Durant I'll talk about him a little bit later but he logged in his fourth consecutive 30 plus point game in the all-star game that means he's filling it up like I said mr. ice water you can call whatever Durantula the servant whatever you want to call him I call him ice water because he shoots lights out so going on to the MVP it was awarded to point guard of the Cleveland Cavaliers Kyrie Irving who put up 31 points and 14 assists he did his thing good shout out to the young fella now Moving on to the other two most important events, the dunk contest and the three-point shootout, because that's really all I worry about. If y'all want to go find something else about that Stars Challenge, well, call me a little bit old school, but I really don't worry about those things. So the dunk contest, really wasn't happy with the new format, East versus West, battle dunking and everything. Well, just tell me who won. Well, it was John Wall of the Washington Wizards. We always knew this guy was a great athlete from his time at the University of Kentucky, and he jumped over his mascot, dropped it between his legs, and reversed it into the rim. The guy's athletic and talented, and he definitely deserved the championship in the dunk contest this year. Now, moving on to the three-point contest. Yes, I'm going to brag and boast just a little bit because the winner was from my San Antonio Spurs, Marco Bellinelli, who I think is one of the most important free agent pickups of any team. But anyway, we'll stick to the three-point contest. Look, he started off a little rough, but he ended up filling up the basket just like he's been doing for the Spurs this season. And that pretty much rounded out the All-Star weekend. Like I say, some of those other festivities, mm, aren't enough foundational enough for me. I like the old school gritty stuff. Dunk contest, three point contest, and the game. So anyway, when we come back on the next segment, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little review of some of the top teams right now in the NBA. Stay logged on.